Hey everyone, Nigel and Luke here, and welcome to another edition of Crimes of the Week International. Representatives from the Hong Kong police force say that a 52-year-old woman has been arrested and is facing multiple charges this week after she fled the scene of an attempted traffic stop, leading officers on a miles-long chase that ended in a dramatic crash. According to reports, the incident began at around 11.50 a.m. on October 27th, when a police officer traveling on the West Kowloon Corridor near the area of Cheng Sha Wan noticed a silver Mercedes that was being driven with expired registration. However, when the officer signaled for the female driver to pull over, she instead quickly accelerated, initiating a chase. The police officer followed the woman for more than five miles, while she allegedly weaved in and out of traffic at high rates of speed. Eventually, the officer was able to overtake the Mercedes, changing lanes and blocking the woman's path in an attempt to get her to pull over. For a moment, it looked like the chase was over when the driver came to a stop. However, she was merely trying one last ditch effort at escape. Instead of surrendering, she reportedly did a U-turn in the middle of the busy road and began to accelerate once again, this time driving against the flow of traffic. Though the woman was able to make it roughly another two miles using this tactic, the incident came to a dramatic end when she hit two other drivers, described as two men ages 33 and 53 while traveling in the wrong direction. Thankfully, it appears that neither of the men were killed, though the crash was serious enough that one of them had to be cut free from the wreckage of his vehicle, and everyone involved needed to be taken to local hospitals. While conducting an investigation into the incident, authorities quickly discovered why the 52-year-old female suspect had been so keen to avoid the initial traffic stop. It turned out that in addition to having expired registration, the Mercedes had also been stolen. Not only that, but the 52-year-old woman was wanted in connection with a drug trafficking case and on allegations that she had used two forged documents. She was arrested on charges including furious driving, car theft, driving without insurance, and driving a non-registered vehicle. At the time of this recording, the woman's name has not been released, and authorities say that they are still trying to track down the rightful owner of the crashed Mercedes. Authorities in the Bangladeshi city of Barishal say that an alleged serial burglar found himself in quite the novel situation last week, when rather than avoiding the police, he was forced to call them for help during the middle of a botched crime. According to reports, the whole thing started in the early morning hours of October 19th, when 40-year-old Yasin Khan broke into a closed grocery store somewhere in the south of the city. Once inside, the so-called professional burglar, allegedly began to load up a large bag that he had brought with him with valuables from the store's shelves. Well, it must have been a pretty big bag, or there must have been quite the selection of things to steal, because somehow, time apparently got away from Khan. To his horror, when he finally went to leave the building, he realized that the sun had already come up, and people were now arriving at the store, and it didn't take long for them to figure out what was going on. Pretty soon, a crowd of people had gathered, and let's just say, they weren't too happy with Khan's chosen choice of profession. Deciding he'd rather take his chances with the police than the angry mob, it was at this point that Khan reportedly called the local emergency number. Fortunately for Khan, officers soon arrived at the scene and were able to escort him out of the store before the mob got to him. Unfortunately for Khan, he didn't just get busted for the one burglary. After being taken to a local jail, police realized that he was actually wanted for a number of similar crimes in the area, so he was promptly charged for those as well. Apparently, authorities were just as surprised as anyone by the strange turn of events. Speaking about the situation following Khan's arrest, local police chief Assad Uzaman said, quote, I have never seen such an incident in my career. Representatives from London's Metropolitan Police Department are asking for the public's help in tracking down a 38-year-old suspect this week 
who they say is wanted for questioning in connection with a stabbing attack that left one woman dead and another injured. According to reports, the incident began just before 4 a.m. on October 23rd, when police were called to a residence on Windmill Lane, located in the Stratford area of East London. When officers arrived at the scene, they found two women, ages 53 and 30, both of whom were suffering from stab wounds. The 30-year-old's wounds were serious, but thankfully non-life-threatening, and she was quickly rushed to a local hospital for treatment. Sadly, the 53-year-old woman's injuries were quite a bit worse. Despite the best efforts of paramedics, she was pronounced dead at the scene. She has since been identified as Yolanda Saldana Feliz. Thanks to forensic evidence, CCTV footage, and witness reports from the area, investigators have now released the name of a suspect wanted for questioning in connection with the double stabbing. He has been identified as 38-year-old Miguel Angel Alvarez Florentino. While few additional details have been released about the case at the time of this recording, it's been reported that Florentino knew the two victims, and there was not believed to be any immediate danger to the public. That being said, police state that they are still searching for the 38-year-old and are asking for anyone who might have information concerning his whereabouts to come forward. Florentino is known to frequent the East London area, and authorities say he may also be using a different name. Anyone with information about the case is encouraged to contact the Metropolitan Police. Authorities in the Chilean capital province of Santiago say that motorists were treated to quite the bizarre sight on a local highway last week when millions of pesos worth of stolen cash was thrown out onto the road during the middle of a high-speed chase. According to reports, the incident began sometime around 7.45 p.m. on October 19th, when a group of suspects walked into a gambling hall in the commune of Pudahuel. After threatening employees with a gun, the suspects were allegedly able to force them to hand over a large amount of cash that the business had taken in that day, an amount estimated to be about 10 million Chilean pesos, or about $10,600 U.S., they then piled into a blue Chevrolet sail and fled the scene. Unfortunately for the suspects, their brazen robbery soon hit a snag when they were spotted in their getaway vehicle by police. A high-speed chase began, which quickly made its way onto the nearby North Coast Highway. It wasn't long before police started catching up. Whether to try and slow the cops down or for some other unknown reason, it was at this point that the suspects pulled a desperate maneuver. They threw their entire bag of cash out of the back of their speeding vehicle. The bag was quickly hit by one of the closely following police cruisers, causing it to rip open, spilling cash out all over the highway. While some of the pursuing police vehicles were forced to stop and block off traffic so that they could begin to pick up the hundreds of fluttering bills, Apparently, the distraction was not the effective deterrent that the alleged criminals had hoped. All six people in the blue Chevy were soon arrested. Police say that they were able to recover most of the money, though some of it inevitably blew away or was picked up by opportunistic bystanders. At the time of this recording, all six of the suspects reportedly remain in custody. Though they have not been identified by name, all are said to be foreign nationals. Authorities in the Thai capital of Bangkok say that a woman has been arrested and is facing charges this week after she shot her polygamist police officer husband while he was on duty during an alleged marital dispute. According to reports, the bizarre situation played out sometime in the early morning hours of October 22nd at a police station in the city's Prakanong district. It allegedly began when Police Lieutenant Colonel Casitos Precau went out for what was supposed to be a routine smoke break. He ducked down near the station shrine out back and proceeded to light up. However, it wasn't long before he was joined by a pregnant woman wearing a maternity dress. Pretty soon, a heated argument had begun, which witnesses say got louder and louder until finally, without warning, the woman pulled out a gun and shot the officer. 
Luckily for Prakal, he was literally behind a police station, so you really couldn't beat the response time. He was quickly dragged inside by his fellow officers, who were able to tend to his injuries until proper help could arrive and take him to a hospital. In the meantime, other officers worked on talking the armed woman down until she eventually surrendered. It turned out that the shooter wasn't just any random pregnant woman. She happened to be Prakau's wife. Well, one of them anyway. According to reports, the unidentified woman was actually one of four women currently married to the wounded officer. He is now said to be in stable condition and recovering from his injuries. While it's unclear what led to the volatile argument between Prakau and his fourth wife, it doesn't look like they're going to be able to talk things out anytime soon. You see, because Prakal was technically working at the time, the pregnant woman has been charged with, among other things, attempted murder of an on-duty police officer. Authorities in the Malaysian state of Johor say that an 18-year-old girl has been arrested for the murder of her 16-year-old brother this week after a routine sibling fight over a car seat turned deadly. According to reports, the incident began on the afternoon of October 19th when the two teens finished for the day at the religious high school they both attended in the city of Iskandar Putri. No sooner had they left the building than a petty argument broke out between them about who would get to ride in the front passenger seat, otherwise known as shotgun, on the way home. It's not clear from reports who actually got their way, but based on what happened next, we assume it was the 16-year-old brother, because sources allege that he continued to tease his sister after arriving home. It was all fun and games, until it wasn't, because at some point, the gloating apparently enraged the 18-year-old so much that she threw a vegetable knife at her brother. The blade hit him in the neck, cutting one of his arteries, causing him to bleed to death right there before help could arrive. Authorities say that the 18-year-old was arrested on murder charges when police got to the scene, and the vegetable knife was taken into evidence. At the time of this recording, it said that the teenager will be held for the next six days, while authorities continue their investigation and decide whether to move ahead with a formal case against her. Authorities in the Australian state of Victoria say that one man is dead this week and another has been hospitalized and is facing charges after they allegedly crashed their car while fleeing the scene of a botched robbery. According to reports, the incident began at around 3 p.m. on October 26th when the two suspects, 22-year-old Spencer Killen and his 25-year-old accomplice, went to the Wonga Park Cellars and General Store with the alleged intention of committing a robbery. While reports aren't exactly clear, it appears that either one or both of the men proceeded to enter the store armed with a hammer. They then demanded that the owner hand over cigarettes and money. When the man started yelling for help, it quickly attracted the attention of another nearby business owner who rushed over to help. That's when Killen and the 25-year-old decided to flee the scene empty-handed, running back to their blue Ford Falcon before speeding off. It was while reportedly still trying to flee the area approximately 15 minutes later that their vehicle struck a white Nissan patrol, sending the blue Ford rolling. Killen, who was driving, was subsequently pronounced dead at the scene, while the 25-year-old was rushed to a local hospital. In a tragic coincidence, it turned out that one of the first people to drive past the wreckage and call emergency responders was Killen's sister, Ella. At the time she made the call, she had no idea that it was her brother in the car. In a second unbelievable coincidence, it's also been reported that Killen and Ella's cousin was one of the two people in the Nissan patrol that he hit. The cousin sadly tried to no avail to resuscitate Killen at the scene before he died. In a statement to the media after the incident, Ella implied that her brother had struggled with drugs prior to his death, saying, quote, Please do not do drugs. If anyone tries to encourage you, please don't, because it will ruin your life. It will ruin your family's life. She went on to say of Killen, quote, He may be a criminal on record, 
but he is not a criminal at heart. According to reports, the 22-year-old was also the father of a young child. At the time of this recording, the 25-year-old alleged accomplice in the case has not been identified, though is now facing multiple charges, including attempted armed robbery, handling stolen goods, drug possession, and committing an indictable offense while on bail. Authorities in the German city of Ludwigshafen say that two people are dead and at least one person is seriously injured following a terrifying knife attack early last week. According to reports, the incident took place sometime on the morning of October 18th when the suspect, identified only as a 25-year-old Somali national, attacked two men with a knife in the city's Ogersheim district. Disturbingly, it's said that he then severed one of the victim's hands with his weapon before heading into a nearby drugstore where he attacked a third victim. Police arrived at the scene almost immediately after and shot the 25-year-old before taking him into custody. So far, it appears that neither the name of the suspect nor any of the three victims have been released. Reports, however, have identified the two deceased victims as two men ages 20 and 35, while the injured victim has been identified only as a 27-year-old. As for a motive behind the crime, it appears that at the current time, police have declined to provide one, citing the need for further investigation. However, multiple reports have stated that the suspect yelled a phrase generally associated with Islamist attacks before carrying out the stabbings. At the time of this recording, the situation is still developing. Before we wrap up, we'd like to take a minute to thank our amazing supporters over on Patreon. As many of you are aware, our situation on YouTube always seems to be a bit uncertain, but our patrons help to ensure that we can continue to make content like this long term without having to worry as much about what surprises might be thrown our way. Plus, patrons also get access to four additional stories per week for each of our Crimes of the Week and Crimes of the Week International videos. If you'd like to help support the channel directly, head over to patreon.com slash crimezone to join. You can also find that link in the description below. As always, thank you so much for watching, and take care.